Petrol price hike. Stop making Sinobu look bad. Doing your coupe fires Dangote, NNPCL, marketers. And now to the news info. Former presidential spokesman Dr. Doing your coupe has called on the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, and oil marketers to avoid action that could cast President Bola Ahmed Sinobu in a negative light. In a statement on Friday titled Dangote Efanari, NNPCL, Oil marketers and the voodoo of PMS pricing. Okupe urged oil industry stakeholders to consider the economic challenges faced by Nigerians. He suggested that the current approach to premium motor spirit PMS pricing could create an impression that the government, which no longer directly controls petroleum prices, is to blame for price hikes, potentially tarnishing the president's image. But is the petroleum minister now? So, what makes you think that he doesn't have a say? He doesn't directly control it. He's the Minister of Petroleum. So he's controlling everything. He has a say. Ah, Mr. Okupe, know what you're saying now. Okupe expressed concerns over the lack of transparency in determining fuel prices, describing it as a national embarrassment. He noted that the free on board FOB price of PMS at Rotterdam was $0.541 per liter, equivalent to about 927.82 naira at an exchange rate of 1,715 naira to one dollar. He further explained that with a landing cost of 978 naira per liter in Lagos, locally refined PMS should benefit from reduced freight cost, which saves approximately 85 naira per liter. Consequently, Okope argued no local refinery should sell above the FOB price at Rotterdam, minus freight savings of 85 naira, which totals it's 42.83 naira per liter. The former director general of the Peter B2023 Presidential Campaign Council, Okupi, challenged NNPCL, the Dangote Refinery, and oil marketers to dispute its calculations. Recall that NNPCL recently increased the price of petrol just three weeks after a previous hike. The latest adjustments raised the pump price to 1,016 naira per liter in Abuja, up from 1,013 naira. While in Lagos, the price increased from 998 naira to 1025 naira per liter at NNPCL outlets. See, these people are just the ones causing problems in this country. Dangote, Petroleum Minister, NNPCL. Because even Dangote as well, I don't know why he's insisting on selling his fuel at a very expensive price when actually people that are importing fuel are getting it cheaper. And you claim to have 500 million barrels of fuel. What do you want to do with it? Do you want to drink it? Do you want to drink it? Why not just sell it cheaper so that people can have access to fuel instead of holding it because you want to sell it at such ridiculous amounts whereby people that are importing are getting it cheaper? It just doesn't make any sense. Joseph Ademola says petrol should be around 600 naira to 800 naira, crude for naira, naira for crude. It should even be lesser than that now that we have a refinery, even though it's private. But at least it is still Nigeria. So it should be cheaper than those that are going to import. It should be. Zarumi Abdelmumini says, Okupe, stop laundering the unlaundrable image of Tinobu. Who causes all this untold hardship? If not Tinobu, who just remove the subsidies without first studying the handover note and thereafter set up committee to recommend steps to be taken to alleviate the inherent hardship? What Nigerians expected from the likes of Okupe to do is to help President Tinobu find lasting solutions to the problem instead of shifting and apportioning blames. Well, if there is one thing that APC government is good with, is always laying blames on people. And it's also person did, it's also person did that. But Amozi Asi says, stop all this rubbish. Tinobu is the Minister of Petroleum. He knows everything going on in the petroleum sector. I, I said that too. Because how can the Minister of Petroleum not know about the costing of petroleum or anything. He knows everything about it. So he definitely knows about the issue of us getting for expensive. He knows everything. Don't say you should not put him in a bad light. He's the petroleum minister, so he knows. Junana Ilya says, This hunger is revealing who actually is a fighter home. Big names are for men entertainment. Income says, Okupe, you are bigger than this rubbish. Seeking favor with Nigerian suffering is a wicked act, Abil. 
Samson, and Nick says, God will soon reveal the secret behind this one day to know who is a liar. Yes, so I really hope that the truth comes out very soon to know if it is Dango that I have a problem, or it is a minute of petroleum, or it is an NPC, or because we do not even know at this point in time. As Ed Bartholomew says, attention, another attention seeking chameleon is here seeking for political appointment. Mm. Prince Iberia says, Nobody is making Tenebo look bad. He is truly bad. He is wicked and heartless. Yes, because he is a petroleum minister, so he cannot say that he doesn't know about the issue of petroleum being expensive, Dangote trying to sell at a higher rate, and all of that. I'm beginning to believe what somebody said that he has um, a, a, a refinery somewhere outside the country, so he prefers that they buy from him over there rather than buying from us in Nigeria. So why did you make Dangote go ahead with, with restructuring his refinery and now he has a lot of petrol that he cannot even sell? They should talk about it and find a way to subsidize it or anything to come in collaboration with this man so that they can sell for cheaper. Fatah Abedin says, whatever anyone does, either good or bad, history will continue to repeat itself. Odafe Oke Augustine said, Okupe, what else are you looking for? Are you not old enough to speak the truth? Wicked people. Abi, they cannot speak the truth. All of them are fighting for their pockets. They are looking for money. That is all, all, all everything is looking for. Gazama Aminu says, Nobody can increase PMS price without the knowledge of Mr. President. Yes, nobody can. Because he is a petroleum minister, so he definitely knows about it. They should think of the masses or the vulnerable, even for the sake of God. Mm, those ones, I, I, I don't think so. Bobby Benson says, why trying to cover up? Nigerians know what is going on and how the government is trying all its best to sabotage Dangote so that you can continue with your business of importation of petroleum products from your refinery in Malta. Uh -huh. This person is saying that this person, our president probably has a refinery in Malta, so he prefers that they keep importing from him so as to be making money and yes, we have a refinery in Nigeria. The other four ones are not doing anything to make it work. It is really where well, this is our country. Ah. It is not it is no longer in the hands of oh, it is it is only God that will help us. God will never allow the wicked to go unpunished. Amen. Sandra Nana says, ask can the friend, the only friend he has in Southwest, that make him kind of want to come to Lagos then? Who is the person for me, Fanny Kayode, FFK, how a FFK destroyed IPOB Ebos as whole, forgetting his children are part of the blood? Since we are just in the carcass of wicked politicians, people that do not care about anybody but themselves, always trying to favor themselves, always trying to do anything to make them look good. It is well low. God will help us. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.